Hi, all right. In this video, we're going to talk about the volume of solid generated between a uh, two curve by rotating about the x-axis. All right. So let's, let's sketch the graph for this. Uh, what does this mean by the volume generated for the region bounded by the two curve? So there is a graph for y square equals to x plus two. Right, y square because it's a two quadratic curve, uh, which is I label this to be y one, this one to be y two. All right, so uh, this is a graph for x square plus two, right? Uh, y one. So ten minus x square. So we have ten minus x square. So we, uh, so this is a graph for y equals to ten minus x square. I label this to be y two. All right, the second curve. So and the region bounded will be. Uh, this region here, right? This region. So, and this region will revolve about the x-axis. Means they rotate about the x-axis. Of course, if you rotate this curve, uh, this curve. Uh, so I I talk about this region here. Okay, let's say from A to B, right? I I want to find the point for A to B. So for point A to B, I have to equate y one to be y two. Why? Because now they have the same value of y, right? They intersect. So then I have uh, x to the power of 2 plus 2 equates to 10 minus with x squared, right? So I have 2x to the power of 2, 10 minus 2, I have 8. So I have x squared to be 4. So x will be plus minus 2. So it means that they are intersecting at this region bounded is actually from negative 2 up to 2, right? Uh, this is the region bounded by this uh, by these two curve. Alright, so let's see what is the solid. This is the outer radius, right? This one is higher compared to this, and this one is far away. It's, it's more proper that you said this curve is far away from the axis of rotation. Of course, the solid formed by this curve will be bigger, right? The bigger solid minus the smaller solid, as this curve is is nearer to the axis, right? So it means that y2, y2 is far from the axis compared to y1. So I have to take y2, subtract with y1, right? So it means that the curve form will be looked like this way, right? Now this is the curve for, for this region, for A and B, right? For A and B, between A and B. So for graph of y2. So if you rotate, uh, this is your axis, right? Uh, this is your axis. So this region, uh, this region, if rotate, you will form a solid. Uh, you will form a solid, right? Uh, you are forming a solid. And if, but this is a full solid, right? But now you have to minus away this part here, right? Uh, this solid form. So this solid form will be look like this shape because the shape from A to B, right? from A to B. So if the solid form, it will look like something like, like this, uh, the solid. So if you see, uh, this one, right? This solid. So this is the shape of the solid. So after you take this minus away this, then you will see there is a hollow, uh, there is a hollow, there is a hole inside the solid. Right? There is a hole inside the solid. So where's the solid? In 3D, it will be like a ring, all right? Uh, it will be like a ring. So means that uh, very easy. The concept is you're taking the curve that far away from the axis of rotation minus away the curve that nearer to the axis. Okay, let's see how to define the volume. All right, okay, let's define the volume. The volume of the solid form will be, I must put a pi, the is rotate about the x axis. So then I have to take y2, right? y2 is far away from the axis of rotation. So which I take y2 square, uh, y2 square minus away y1 square. Then I will get the solid that I want. So the region is from a to b, from negative 2 up to 2, negative 2 up to uh, so this is the volume that defined for this case. So negative 2 up to 2. So y2. Y2 is 10 minus x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. 
and y1 right y1 is x squared plus 2 to the power of 2 right so we have to integrate this first we have to expand so you have 100 minus with 20 positive x to the power of 4 minus away put a bracket uh, as you when you expand so you have x power 4 plus bit 2 2 4 x square plus 4 so dx so x power 4 plus 4 x square plus 4 100 minus uh, sorry there is a 20 x square here all right 100 minus 20 x square plus with x to the power 4 right so we have volume pi uh, negative 2 up to 2 so let's simplify right x power 4 minus x power 4 so 100 plus 4 uh, 100 minus 4 right 100 minus 4 you have 96 96 and negative 20 x square negative 20 x square and positive right negative 20 x square and negative 4 so you have negative 24 x to the power of 2 where x power 4 minus x power 4 you are getting 0 right uh, so this is the this is the integral that i get after i simplify right okay let's integrate we have pi integrating this you have 96 x right minus with 24 x to the power of 2 div uh, 3 divided by 3 from negative 2 up to 2 so as you evaluate this pi and this is 3 8 right so you substitute 2 you have 96 2 to the power of uh, and um, 3 8 8 2 to the power of 3 subtract the lower value so which is 96 negative 2 negative 6 negative 2 minus with uh, 8 negative 2 to the power of 3 right so if you sum up everything Okay, if you sum up everything, you are getting 256, right? Uh, you try to sum up these two, subtract. So then you are getting 256 pi unit cube for this solid. So this is the uh, solid form between these two curves.